Hello. I do it better than you. So, Adam and his new buddy. Oh, I've been replaced with the other blonde now. Wait, let me unplug this. I was charging it. The other blonde. She could be my twin. Hmm. Hmm. I'm prettier though. Hmm. Wait a minute. This is very good, by the way. This is mocha. It's mocha. Mocha latte. Latte or something. It's really good. It's Starbucks? No, no. It's the, um, the original. No, wait. I don't know. Whatever. It's good. It's really good. Wait. Hmm. Okay. Yes, this is obviously a clap back to Adam Barta and Mama June dishing out something that was a secret and I didn't want out there. And I'm really pissed at the two of them for doing this because it's total bullshit. It's like, and she's like putting it out there like somebody from Netflix told her. The only person that told you was the person sitting to your left, bitch. His name's Adam Barda, and he freaking let out what he wasn't supposed to let out. I told you in confidence, Adam. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. So you heard it from her lips, a Mama June. Yes, I made it to the final round of Netflix show Nailed It, season seven all the way to the final round. I signed all the papers, all the documents, and then it comes up to the final cut. And I got cut. Damn it. Oh my God. This is not the first time. Oh my God. This is so hard trying to break, break it, break out. What is, I don't know, whatever. Trying to get a job or do something. So yes. She don't have no freaking connections to Netflix. Hell no. You work for what? We TV? That's what you work in. Stay in your lane, bitch. I'm going for Netflix. Netflix? Oh, and for your, adv your advice, June, fuck you. I'm wearing my damn nail. Um, <laughs> Netflix shirt. Netflix? I'm available. Hire me. Squid Games. I got my passport. Anything. I can do anything. Take my, mark my word for it, but I can do anything. I'm, um, what's that word? A chameleon? I can play any part. I can do anything. Give me a chance. Yes, I can. So that is the truth. I got all the way up there and I got dropped. Mm. There was, they got it down. There was going to be 30 contestants and there was 40 of us left. They cut 10. Mm. Mm. I was like, I had a one in four shot to get on and I got cut. It doesn't mean anything. It, I mean, it could be they wanted only so many people of this age bracket in this season. They wanted only so many blondes, so many females, so many of this type. That is how it goes. If they want so many of this type to go to every age category, every, um, you know, they want, they want so many different nationalities personalities and all that i mean it, it hurts oh it hurts it hurts um but you know i'm getting used to it now that is for sure i'm getting used to it so we got cut from nailed it then we got first we got cut from the good dish yeah so that's why i was doing all this baking because i made it to all the final levels on all these shows and i got cut it happens. But uh, me and Adam made lots of pie. Oh my God. We made apple pie, cherry pie, and we did our own version of Nailed It, him and I. We both baked cakes because what we were going to do was we were hoping I'd get on. And when I, that show aired, we were going to air our segment of our version of Nailed It just to try and, you know, get some boosted people coming to our side to see our version of Nailed It. We, we're still going to post it when Nailed It comes out because we did it. And it's, it was real, it's really cute. It's really cute. So one year they did do teams on Nailed It. 
So I says, well, maybe they'll see our videos and they'll hire us for the team if they do teams next year. You never know. And sometimes they do um, seasons, uh, Christmas. They do Christmas seasons. You never know. You never know. So we, we got some footage. We did that. We have our version of Nailed It. We've got lots of pies. <laughs> We're all set to submit in for any cooking team shows. That's what we've got. A lot of footage. We're set for that. I'm. We're still... You never know with the good dish. You never know. They said they'd keep me at the top of the list. I'm on their their list. I'm, they put, she said she's going to put me on their callback list. So I have a chance still to get on that. I'm watching the show. It looks it is a new show, and they're trying to figure out which way to go. So there haven't been any offers to go back, but I haven't gotten any of the. Um, I'm on the list. I'll know when the next one comes up, and there hasn't been any. It's not like they've passed me over. I'm on the list and I haven't gotten any emails because I'll know, because I'll know what's going on. So it's still a chance for that. You never know. It's it's a long, it's a long process, but yeah. So I, we were in the running for the two shows, the CBS one, and then the, I was in the running for Nailed It. We were just gonna do that, the team video for our channel to release when I mine was gonna be released on Netflix. We were hoping to bounce like that. It didn't work. It fell through. But we still have lots of footage and you never know. You never know. Because Netflix, hire me. Because I'm still going to wear the shirt and I'm still going to put hashtag hire me. Because what was June's advice? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, God. Mmm. So good. It's so good. This is my Florida mug. Mmm. I wonder if they have different mugs like in Key West, Florida. I bet they got like an Orlando, Florida mug. I bet they got that type of a thing. Wait a minute. One more. One more. So good. I don't like it when it gets cold. Wait a minute. Let me hit mute because I found a really great set of music I'm listening to. It's, it's the new guy. I like him now. He's Timmy Trumpet. Really good. I like him. Where was this? It was a couple of things I want to nitpick about um, Dear Mama June. All right. So one of her things was Mama June. This was, quote, Adam. Her main point was Cynthia doesn't need to do so many videos because she does have something special. Let them come to her. It's hard when you are starting out because there's a fine line between trying, trying too hard and being persistent. I don't see the difference in trying too hard and being persistent. I'm just growing my channel. Unlike you, Adam Barda. Oh, oh, have you hit the thousand on TikTok? No, no, you didn't. No, you haven't. You haven't. You can't even go live, Mr. Checkmark. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, we're going to be hitting 133,000. Thank you very much because I'm persistent and I'm working hard on my channels and my TikTok channel and I'm going for it. I'm not taking your advice. I'm not taking her advice because Adam's channels aren't going anywhere. He's not doing enough and I'm working it and I'm enjoying it. I like making the videos. It's fun. It gives me something to do. I need to keep my mind occupied. I like making the videos. I like it. So I'm not taking any advice from Mama June or Adam Barda. They can both stick it. And another ish I got with Mama. What the hell, bitch? You can't follow me back on uh, TikTok or Instagram? What the hell? You're too good for me? That's bullshit. She won't follow me back. I followed her so many times. I've liked all her stupid pictures, all her stupid videos. Let me give you a little advice, Mama June, okay? You see how your face is like right in the screen? You look stupid. You should get a tripod holder. They're very inexpensive. You could afford one. Let me show I have an extra one. Look, yeah. This is the really good one. This is like this is like forty dollars. This is the one I bring to Florida, but you can get a cheaper one. And this way everybody will see your whole face and what you're wearing. If you don't have a Netflix shirt, go wear something else. Oh, and maybe change your blouse every so often too. I mean, how many times are you gonna wear that tie-dye shirt? Oh, oh, and that red? Oh my God, how many videos were you with the red? So yeah, take some advice from me, the one who has more likes than you on TikTok, bitch. Yeah, 
This is unappealing. The face shot. Yeah, this is not good, hon. It's not good. My advice to you is to get a little tripod holder so we can see your face. I mean, you were bragging how you get your hair did for free, right? And your nails. Well, we can't see your nails when you're holding the phone, can we? But you know what? If you had the little holder, you could go like this and you could show off your nails and you could twirl your beautiful blonde hair. But you can't because you're doing this. And we all love looking up your nose. It's so appealing. Yeah. So she refuses to follow me back on TikTok where she only has 1.3 million likes. Cynthia Ann Beaumont has 2 million likes. She does have more subscribers. I'll give you that. She has almost a half a million, but I have a hundred, we're going to say 133,000 because I'm almost on the edge of the 33, which isn't bad considering I haven't been on television for 10 years. You have, and you don't even have a million subscribers. Oh, oh, oh. She can't follow me back. And did you all see her video? This one? Hey guys, as I'm walking around this beautiful half a million dollar home, if not even more. What? That's Adam's house. Hey guys. That's Adam's house, by the way. She's walking around in Adam's house. Does she tag Adam? No. Hey guys, as I'm walking oh, look, around and this I didn't like it. Because I don't like it. No. More. No, I don't. No. So yeah, that pisses me off. She can't follow me back here. She can't follow me on Instagram because she's just so much better. She's high up on the food chain with her little check mark people. She's all the way up there with all the people with their check marks. Keep it. I don't care. I'm not taking your advice. Uh, I don't, you know, and, and, and for people to come to me. Well, nobody's going to come to me if they don't see me. Plain and simple. If I don't make a video every day, I don't get seen every day. I don't have everything you have. You have an entire network, a literal network. What, the Wii TV? You have a network. I have nothing and no one but me to post for me. You cannot, I cannot go by any advice that works for you because, yes, you are up here and I am, woo, on the bottom. Nobody sees me. If I don't scream, nobody hears me. You're Mama June. You can make a phone call, make something happen. I'm Cynthia Beaumont. No one knows who I am. No one's going to pick up the phone for me. I can't live by the same rules you do. You're in a different league than me. I'm at the bottom. It's okay. There's a lot of us down here. We're not happy, but we're not alone. That's for sure. That's for sure. Huh. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't ask for your advice. And I didn't want it. I did not want your advice. I didn't really care for what you had to say. Didn't really care. I don't think any of your advice was relevant to my situation at all. None. Not at all. I, if I don't make a video, no one sees me. We, I cannot. You're... You're up here. I'm on the lowest level of the food chain. The lowest level. I'm with the bottom feeders. And I know that. I cannot take your advice because it will not work. If I don't scream, I won't get heard. If I don't make a video every 10 minutes, I don't get seen. So. Yeah, I mean, I want to say thank you. But it wasn't valid for what I do for what I'm doing. It doesn't work for me. You know, I want to be an influencer. I want to have millions of subscribers. I want my channel to be seen worldwide. That's only going to happen if I make more videos. If I, I'm hitting out as many as I can in hopes that one of them goes viral. That's the hopes of making out so many. I figure if I kick out 10, maybe one will stick. Maybe. If I kick out one, what are my odds of the one? If I kick out 10 a day, I have a better shot. That's my philosophy. You know, I, um, it's in my nature to want to say thank you, but I didn't ask for your advice and it's not, it really, 
didn't work for me at all. So, you know, I don't even know why you were giving it to me because I didn't ask for it other than I didn't ask for it at all. I just thought we were just there to do our regular Friday thing and then you show up and, uh, wow, rip me to shreds. So whatever. And thanks for the big mouth for telling everybody that, yeah, I failed, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm picking myself up and I'm still looking for jobs and I'm, Netflix, hire me. I'm available. And I can't wait for you to leave Adam's house, by the way, bitch. I can't wait for you to leave. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous of you. I do wish I was there because I miss Adam and I miss being a part of Matthew and Adam and what we do together. I miss that immensely because I have no family. I have no one that I'm jealous about just because I, I'm lonely. That's about it. Because some people are saying I'm jealous or what. I'm not. I'm just, I just wish I was there. Mm. I want to be there. You need a bigger house. You need a million dollar house, Adam, so you can have at least two bedrooms for extra people to hang out. Like me. Yeah. And Hunter. That's all. Just saying. Just saying. So thanks, Big Mouse. I really appreciate you putting it out there that I got dumped. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Oh, I'll put the link below so you can see the video. It's short.